Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another video and uh, in this episode uh, we are actually going to do a triple, triple case unboxing. Um, I've got this newer series here which is Club V-Dub Series 9. Uh, I think it's fairly new. Uh, it's from like middle of the year 2019 so i think it's the latest club v-dub series and then i've got two much older series to look at so we're going to do some older unboxings we got this series nine of course which is fairly new at least from this year and then we've got some older series um, one of them is the ford gt racing heritage series one and the other one is actually tokyo torque series one so I've got two sealed cases. Um, we're just going to take a look at those basically just to see if we pull a greenie. I know they're old series, so you may not be that interested. But uh, So we'll start with this Club v Dub one. And if you don't want to see me open the other boxes, you can click off the video after that. But who doesn't like case unboxing videos? It's so much fun to just to see if we're going to get a chase. So I definitely enjoy opening these up on camera. Again, these cars are not mine. I am not keeping them. They're not in my collection. These are cars that are going to my good friend, Di Castrum, who lives overseas, and I help him with shipping. So, there you go. All right. So, we get 1964 Volkswagen Samba bus with surfboards. Um, there's not really much to look at here card art-wise. It's been the same card art ever since the first series of Club Vita. Um, which is a series I used to collect and then stop collecting just because there's I, you just can only have so much Volkswagen in your life <clears throat> and everybody puts out Beatles and, and buses alright so there's that first one it looks alright this uh, casting actually originally was a motor world casting they converted it to a full on metal body metal base casting it used to have a plastic base yada 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 now you're seeing it in uh, the standard uh, green light series uh, this next one is the Volkswagen type 2 double cab pickup ladder truck uh, this is a kind of a cool add-on tooling kind of thing it's 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 pretty neat uh, the the actual ladder bit thing doesn't articulate uh, to my knowledge I don't think it does and I this is not the first time that they've put it out it's kind of a crazy contraption there on top of there Electronic pharma. Um, oh yeah, numbers. We look at numbers. Uh, this one is number 740 on the base. It's always fun. Green light numbers. They're they're casting. So this one is 2726. That's a nifty one. It's just a pain in the uh, rear. If you're a uh, open collector to display this car, it's kind of a nightmare. So I have one, and I think that's one I'm ever gonna have. Uh, next is, this one's pretty nice, this is a 1965 Volkswagen Squareback in golf livery. So if you're a fan of golf livery, this would be one to get. Um, it's a nice version of this car. I do like how it's done with the black rims. Um, the number on the bottom is 2502. Pretty good. Back opens on this casting. That's decent. Let's keep her moving. Oh, hey, we got a green machine, and that is kind of tough to notice, but it's definitely noticeable. See the rims right there? They're not supposed to be that color. This one is the Volkswagen Type 2 T2 Type 2 double cab pickup. And that's a lot more obvious when you take a look at the base. So it's got a green base. Uh, number is really hard to read, but it's 221. Green Machine. See, and that's the fun part about this, is the chance at pulling a Green Machine. A chase car. It's just so much fun. And then next we get the 1964 Volkswagen panel van in it's kind of an ambulance kind of theme here. This one is another casting that was a Motor World only casting. It used to be a plastic base, which they retooled it with a metal base. The number on the bottom of this one is 4692. 
decent looking Volkswagen. They do tend to keep, even though there's been tons of these out, they do kind of keep them interesting with some interesting liveries and interesting little add-ons. This one right here would be the only one I would get. Classic Volkswagen Beetle. I still am kind of a sucker for the Beetles when they put these out. Um, this classic Volkswagen Beetle, however, also was a original Motor World casting. And this one is forty-four twenty-nine. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's I'm assuming that's probably an authentic uh, police livery. I don't know if that is German or not. I don't think it is. Policia de Trans. No, that's not. I cannot read that though. So. I don't know. Someone probably knows. Anyway, you got a light bar on top that looks pretty neat. Pretty large light bar for the small car. Uh, did I say the number already? 4429. And that's going to be it for this case. All right, so the next two cases, we'll probably just kind of blow through them because it's a series that you guys have probably all seen before. If you, if you haven't, then, you know, by all means, stay tuned. This first one is kind of an odd one. It, it's the Ford GT Racing Heritage Series. Um, so we'll go ahead and open up the box. And start pulling out some cars. Let's see if we get a green. All right, so this one, the, the sort of neat thing about this, and we'll take a look at the car right there. There it is. 2017 Ford GT. It's all the same casting. Okay, um, the difference in the cars is going to be the liveries on them, and they're all uh, heritage liberties or liveries. So, C24 allows tribute. So, basically, these are all going to be uh, racing liveries for this Ford GT, and some of them are. Um, they had vintage Ford GT40s that were that had these liveries. All right, so pretty cool. It's a it's a nice casting. Green light they did a good job on this casting. Let's we'll see if we pull the green machine. The green machines in this series are kind of odd. You'll see like a green number or some weird part of the body will be green. Here it is in black. And again, we can kind of book through these. Not much to talk about because it's all the same car. Here it is in yellow. Arguably the ugliest one in the in the series. Here it is in red. Pretty decent looking. And here it is in gold. This is a nice looking one. I kind of like the way this one looks. Um, we can peek at the numbers here in just a second. We'll peek at all of them. And then the last one is in burnt orange. And actually, that one looks pretty good. I never got that one. It's not bad looking. Um, so let me get the cardboard out of here. Just for gigs, let's go ahead and take a look. So you got 1627. You got uh, 766. 3922. It'd just be cool to get like a super low number, like one or something. 3781. 1918. And... 3022. Alright, we'll get that out of the way. That was a nice quick one. And next we got Tokyo Torque Series 1. It's the original Tokyo Torque Series. This was all the rage when it first came out. People were heavily anticipating this series. It's like, alright, green legs going JDM. Alright, so let's see what we get in this one. This was the most disappointing green light casting ever. It was this Bree Dotson 240Z. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't mean to be... I don't mean to be mean. Number 950. I don't mean to be mean. It's just that... And the packaging, by the way, on this, there's not much to look at. It's been the same packaging, too, pretty much throughout the entire, I don't even know what series they're on now, like five or something like that. These came out in 2017. All right, so anyway, I don't mean to be mean, but this is the worst 240Z casting um, pretty much ever. It's just not 
they didn't get it right. Which is unfortunate because I really was looking forward to seeing it. Here's the 2002 Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Blue, number 4069 is on the bottom of that one. Another 2001 Nissan Skyline GTR R34 M spec. 3919 on that one. And again, the only real excitement here is if we pull a green machine, this series is already a little bit old, but 1973 Breed Downs and Baja Z. This sort of redeems the casting a little bit because it's the Baja version, so it looks a little bit better. But just look how massive those tires are on this thing, if you can see that. It's just so they're so wide and huge. Uh, 1442 is the number in that. We got two more cars to pull. The 2014 Nissan GTR R35. They've come up with a, probably a hundred variations of this. I don't know a ton of them, but 2409 on that one. In white, it looks good in white. This is a pretty good casting. I like that cast. Already, I have too many of them though, already. And then lastly, we get 1971 Datsun 240Z in this uh, appropriate color for the car. But again, like that just, like you guys know, that doesn't look good, right? Like when you guys first like came, and I'm wondering if that was part of the delay. I think this series was delayed quite a bit. But I mean, you guys gotta know. I mean, when you're looking at that, whoever decided to green light this, <laughs> green light it, Pun intended, I guess. Um, whoever decided to give this thing the go-ahead uh, after they saw, like, samples of it. I don't know if you were too late in the development process where you couldn't just, uh, I don't know, scrap it or whatever. But that's what I would have done. So, if you're listening, Greenlight, you should give the 240Z another shot. A complete redo. Just do it over again. You guys let me know if I'm way off base on saying that. I just, it's, it just doesn't look good to me. All right, so that's it. So we unboxed three green light car, three green light cases. Uh, highlight of which is we did score a green machine. Yeah, I'm just grabbing it real quick. So we did score a green, there it is. Highlight for me though is actually that beetle. Out of all these, that's probably the one I would I would want. Um, this isn't bad either, uh, but pretty cool unboxing video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, um, if you're enjoying these Greenlight unboxings, they're in a playlist conveniently, so you can go ahead and check them out. Go through the the videos that we've done so far. We've been pretty lucky on green machines, so uh, not, we haven't pulled one in every video, but we've definitely pulled quite a few. So definitely check out the other case unboxing videos and. Uh, Thanks again for watching. Have a good day.